We count on them come rain or shine. And our postal service workers, they promise to show up. But we've heard from you sometimes that getting a package from the USPS takes a long time or sometimes doesn't come at all. And with the holiday season on the horizon, we know you are worried. So our Courtney Robinson puts the USPS to the test. Our mail started right here in our kitchen in St. Pete. We got the supplies, the tape, the classic first class mail brown box, and the pricier priority too. We labeled them up loaded them up and added a GPS tracker. Four trackers, four packages going to two cities, our friends across the state in Jacksonville and across the country in Seattle. We dropped at Tampa's main post office. How long would it take and where would our packages go? We could see our packages move from the main post office to another USPS facility, the Package Support Annex in Tampa. Inside, there are robots and this new single induction package sorter, which can process 3,000 parcels per hour. The Postal Service installed those ahead of a holiday season that will put them to the test. And our packages with those trackers were a test. Let's see how they did. USPS says regular first class packages should be delivered within five days. Priority mail, one to three days. Hello from Jacksonville. We got both packages. Haley Harrison got both boxes in 40 hours. And both arrived at the exact same time, traveling a straight shot across the state. She popped them back in the mail to us. Ooh. Yay, and we got the mail. It took two days to get the packages back from Haley coming from Jacksonville right here in St. Pete. We have two boxes here that arrived in Seattle. Across the country at our affiliate King 5, our buddy Chris Ingalls got the priority box first within a day and a half. Channel 10 hat, thank you very much. The regular first class box wasn't far behind. Excellent taping job, Florida. It arrived within two and a half days, and our tracker showed movement to facilities in Tampa, then a straight shot from Tampa International to SeaTac, a few stops along the way, and finally ending with Chris. All four packages making it to their destinations, all four faster than promised, but what about those who don't get their packages and don't have our GPS trackers? Because we know there are issues. Did we just get lucky? On my receipt right here, you know, it had the tracking number and I was able to use that. Um, when a package is misplaced and I have that tracking number and I can see where it was last, why can't you just go into the facility, find it and get it on its way? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not as easy as that. I mean, you know, those facilities are quite large. David Walton, a spokesperson for the Postal Service in Tampa, says there is hope. They have researchers, including in Tampa, to find missing mail. A lot of times they are able to find these packages and get them to the rightful owner. And that's the goal this holiday, to get all mail to the rightful recipients as the Postal Service promises to deliver. This holiday, just remember, plan ahead because, as we saw, there's a lot of places your mail will go. People don't realize what a, a piece of mail or a package goes through to reach its destination. I think it's wonderful that you did this experiment. The packages that we sent to Jacksonville both arrived same time, same day. That priority box cost us $16.25. Regular first class, $5.85. Walton says, do your research, see which shipping option isn't just in your price line, but your timeline.